Hello there and welcome back to another video. We are back here inside of the beginner 2 Pro Squibb tutorial series right now, guys. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about events. Events are super important, guys, and you can't really get far with scripting the games without knowing about how events work over here, guys. So yeah, these well, this is definitely gonna be a really, really exciting video for you all. We'll be doing some really interesting stuff. First things first, so guys, I do have a Patreon account where you guys can join for the price of only eight pounds per month. And with that, guys, you can access every single one of my previous Roblox Studio files. I'll see copy and paste the script over if you guys really want to. Anyway, let's go on in with the video right now. So, guys, like, what are exactly events? Well, it kind of says it in the title. Events are literally events. I'll give you guys some examples over here. Okay, so, for example, let's add a part right now, guys. And let's add a, um, a humanoid. So, I'm going to do this, guys. Well, so, like, a character. I'm going to do this by doing the build rig plugin. I'm just going to build a block rig over here. So just imagine that this is a person in the game right now, guys. And whenever they go ahead and touch this block um, over here, what will happen? A dot touched event will fire. So that kind of means that whenever this is touched, it is going to go ahead and run a bit of code over here, guys. I'm going to show you how we can actually script that. So whenever we actually touch this, it prints out like block touched or something like that, guys. Also, events going to happen, let's say, um because i think you got, uh, um if you guys know about the um the parent and child system which i talked about in the first part i think um pretty much guys as you can see so for example let's put this part in as a parent for the base plate for example guys we'll have stuff like um if we had this base plate, plate variable and this part over here exited out of the base plate so it's no, no longer a child we could do like something like dot child added or child removed event over here i said there's a lot of stuff which we kind of do over here so we're going to start off with it right now so what i'm going to do inside this part i'm going to add a script and inside the script first things first so guys let me quickly just anchor this part because of course you don't want want this like flying all over the place what i'm going to do is find the part so i'm going to do local part and that's going to be equal to script dot parent the reason why is because here's the script um when, when you guys do script that just that the, well, the game kind of realizes you're talking about this script over here and then it looks for the parent of this which of course is the part so now guys you have the part as a variable next we are going to do part dot touched so that is event over here guys so whenever you do an event it will be like dot and you guys can, can see it's like a lightning strike for example this changed this touched this child added ancestry changes all that sort of stuff over here guys there's so many events touch ended destroying there's so many events over here guys which you can run through um so for example we're gonna do part dot touched and then guys with this you, you want to do connect colon connect function so pretty much guys what this is doing um i talked about functions previously guys so it's making this touched event turn into a function right now guys so that means whenever this part gets touched this function is going to go ahead and run and any code inside of here is going to run so what i'm going to do is just simply do print um and then we'll, we'll do something like um this block has been touched something like this over here guys so there we go we can do this this block has been touched now guys if we go ahead and jump on into the game over here and we run over to this block as you can see it will print, print out over here this block's been touched because the touched event is now firing and it's realizing that i'm touching this block but when would this actually be useful guys well honestly it's useful in so many places for example let's say you guys are making an obby and you want to make a kill brick what you guys could do over here is use this touch block to make it as a kill brick and i'll kind of showing you guys how to do that right now i guess and um, so pretty much guys what we can go ahead and do over here is this so inside this guys we're going to add hit because pretty much guys what i'm going to do now i'm going to print out hit hit is one of the um the parameters which go into the function um on a dot touched event guys that's going to tell us what kind of object has touched this thing so if we run this again guys now what will happen it's going to print out like left foot as you can see le left lower leg left foot all sorts of stuff guys so what we can do is this we can do um to check if it's like a player that's going to do this we can do if hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid and then we will do then we can then do um i guess we can probably do humanoid and then one second guys let me quickly see um so what we do guys to actually change the health is do humanoid dot wait um how do we do this guys over here um we would do yeah we do humanoid dot max health is equal to like sorry sorry we do humanoid dot health is equal to 50 or something like that guys so what we do over here is do um hit dot parent find first child humanoid and then we'll, we'll do something like dot health 
is equal to 50. So what we are going to do right now, guys, is pretty much all, all we would do um that or we do this again and then just minus 10 or something like that this guy so pretty much every single time that we touch this part we are going to minus our health by 10 each time which is quite cool guys you may not know exactly what this is doing over here but um okay that's brilliant guys health is not a valid member of humanoid have i yep i it for some reason then guys i've put heath instead of health there we go guys no that's not how you spell health um there we go there's health right here Apologies, guys, about my terrible spelling. I don't know how I'm responsible to be teaching you guys about scripting. Anyway, let's jump on in again. And as you can see right now, guys, I'm now taking damage and I've had to touch this and eventually you guys have died. So pretty much, guys, I'm going to explain exactly what's going on over here. So, for example, our hit thing over here. Um, so, of course, that's the item that's touching this part. Now, guys, in this thing, I'm checking if the parent of this hit thing so for example in the print thing it was printing like left foot left lower leg what i'm doing over here guys is if the parent of this so hit the parent in this instance would be the character so the characters are the, the group of all the body parts and all sorts of stuff guys then you do a find first child thing which looks for the humanoid inside of here so if that does and whatever hit it guys if it if the parent of it and you find first child of the parent humanoid that means there's a humanoid inside of it and that means that there's a character that means that we can now go ahead and delete their health if you guys don't do this then you're going to run into some errors and we don't want that guys but pretty much what you're now doing is actually changing the health property of the humanoid so if you look in the humanoid over here guys you'll find health just over here guys as you can see what we are doing over here guys is setting the original value of the health over here guys and we're minusing this minusing this by 10 for example guys if we just set this to 50 each time not 500 if we just set this to 50 each time once we touch the brick once um it will um well once we touch the brick wrong brick ones it's gonna set us to 50 health guys but it's not gonna set us to any amount lower than that so that just allows us to minus the health off and of course guys if you wanted to actually kill them you could just set their health to zero and of course that would kind of um that, that would kind of set their health to zero of course guys i guess and being as, as you can see that'll kill us but pretty much guys that's events for you well that's how you can kind of make a kill brick which is honestly really really easy guys it may seem a bit harder than what it really is but honestly it's extremely easy to make a thing i think like a kill brick over here guys um but pretty much guys that's all you really need to know about events right now guys and roblox for the most part right now um but they are super useful guys they are pretty much like the main way most games are run they're they're so important you'll be noticing us use a ton of events later on and this script tutorial and also like the more advanced script tutorial series as well guys so yeah like and subscribe remember guys check out my patreon account but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video right now guys i hope you did enjoy